skin and light segment. Take an angle. Stretch it and angle. Maybe that's A O B. Angle A O B. It's one of the angles. We know that how to construct an angle bisector. We have learned in constructions. So take a compass using O. Let's make an arc using one or two centimeters. As per our convenient, we have taken 2 cm radius and using the point O, we made an arc. So we got two points here. This is point 1 and point 2. Using the point 1, make an arc again. Using the same radius we can take. And using the point 2, make an arc. And we use the 2 cm radius. Using the point O, we made an arc. And we got two points here 1 and here 1. And again, Use the point 1 and make an arc and also use the point 2 make an arc and these two are intersecting at the point one of the point that is called as we so now take a scale and join the point O and 3 so we have joined point O and 3 so, so this line will divide the angle into two equal parts like what we have, whatever we have drawn with the dotted line, it divides the angle into two equal parts. So this is called a line symmetry for an angle. So here, angle O A O B is divided. Let's take here C. So angle B O C is equals to angle A O C. Here. B O C is one of the angle and which is divided after division. B O C one of the part of the whole angle and next part is angle A O C. And when we measure this uh, two angles, this both will be equal because O C has by bisector for angle A O B. So this is the line symmetry we call. Let's take another figure. That is isosceles triangle, then after we will take equilateral triangle. We take an isosceles triangle. But when we have learned in triangles, and the triangle which is having two sides are equal, and then we call it isosceles triangle. When these two sides are equal, so let's see are two equal sides and this is a side which is not equal to other two sides one is different and two other is equal so from the equal sides opposite sides which are two equal sides along with that the middle of the equal sides we draw a line which is perpendicular to the opposite side we draw a perpendicular line towards the third side then we get a line which will divide into two equal parts let's see this line will divide the triangle into two equal parts so this line is called line of symmetry for an, an isosceles triangle so this is for isosceles triangle only one line symmetry can be drawn for an Triangle. Now let's take an equilateral triangle. We have learned in triangles. All the three sides are equal and equilateral triangle. All the three sides are equal. So let's see here. A triangle has three vertices, and this is an equilateral triangle. For an equilateral triangle, how many lines of 
symmetry we get is along with the vertex we draw a perpendicular line towards the opposite side we get one of the line of symmetry and then the next vertex we draw a perpendicular line to the perpendicular to the vertex we draw a perpendicular line towards the opposite side to it similarly we draw for this vertex also then we get three lines of symmetry for an equilateral triangle so each of the so let's draw a scaling triangle Scaling triangle, scaling triangle. All the three sides are equal. We know that. So here, we we'll try to draw a line of symmetry for this. So I can draw at this side vertically, along with, along with the vertex of any vertex. We see here in this manner. It will not divide into two equal parts, and that it doesn't have a single scaling triangle. Three sides are unequal. All three sides are different in this. Let me try to draw a line of symmetry for this. So, along with the vertex, one of the vertex we we'll try to draw, but this line will not divide this triangle into two equal parts. It doesn't equal. So, this is not the line of symmetry. Along with this other vertex you draw, and also it is not equal. We we'll try to draw and. Line of symmetry for isosceles triangle, so we don't get any lines of symmetry for this. So there is no line of symmetry for a scalar triangle. So let's go to the next concept. The square.
Let's take next concept. Next figure that is rhombus and kite. that rhombus is a figure which is having all the sides are equal and this all the sides of rhombus are equal and kite is that adjacent sides of the diagram are equal only adjacent sides are equal in this so when we try to draw a line of symmetry for rhombus along with opposite vertices we draw and this is one of the line symmetry and another opposite vertices next line of symmetry so here we got two lines of symmetry
semicircle is taken through the center of the semicircle, there is only one line can be drawn, and which is which will divide into two equal parts. So there is only one line of symmetry for semicircle.